Well, COVID has certainly changed our lives in many ways, including how we pay for things. Many businesses have gone credit card only, and that's hurt people who don't have bank accounts. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, joining us live. Sean, a state lawmaker has a bill now to stop that practice. Jim, State Representative Alex Valdez says it should be against the law for a business to refuse to take cash as a payment. While most of us have debit or credit cards, more than 7 million Americans do not have a bank account. Trust, privacy, credit problems among the reasons. But in most cases, it's because the person doesn't make enough money to maintain a minimum balance. And the mom you're about to meet says she shouldn't be discriminated against because of that. The move toward a cashless economy was already in motion when COVID hit. And seemingly overnight, many businesses began requiring cards and rejecting cash. It's kind of like taboo this year. I think. It's just ridiculous. Laura Rodriguez's neighborhood grocery store among the places to go plastic only. So we have to drive, you know, an extra 20, 30 minutes to get to stores that do take cash. And with six kids doing online school in a pandemic, she says life is hard enough. I couldn't believe that, you know, the United States, you can't pay with cash. She's not the only one in disbelief. And I thought, wow, is this not already a law that you have to accept cash as payment? And turns out in Colorado, it is not. State Representative Alex Valdez plans to change that with a bill that makes this illegal. It may have been born out of safety concerns, but Valdez says cards are no cleaner than cash. Every time I walked up to a place and they said, we don't accept cash, but hand me your credit card, I thought, Hmm, we aren't telling a car dealership you have to accept a, a suitcase full of cash. We're saying that, um, you know, for those everyday retail goods, we need to continue to um, be able to allow everyone to purchase those products. Not everybody is able to have a credit card or a debit card in their hands. It would be marvelous if we can actually pass this bill to be able to pay with cash, be able to use our cash out there and not be discriminated. Now, if the bill passes, any business that refuses to take cash would face a fine of up to $500. A handful of other states and some large cities have similar laws in place. Live in Westminster, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.